Welcome, I am Terry Tropin, and today I'm presenting a lesson on CPT coding for fine needle aspiration biopsies. Let me start with information about myself. I have a master's in healthcare administration informatics from the University of Maryland Global Campus and have RHIA and CCSP certifications. I am also an AHIMA approved ICD-10 trainer. I've taught health information technology at Montgomery College in Maryland for over 20 years. I've also written books on coding. These books are study guides that summarize the coding guidelines. My books include one on A&M coding, ICD-10-CM coding, ICD-10-PCS coding, and external causes. These are available on Amazon. First, let's look at the differences between fine needle aspiration biopsies and other types of biopsies. A fine needle aspiration biopsy, abbreviated as FNA, uses a very thin, hollow needle attached to a syringe. It takes out small amounts of fluid cells or very small pieces of tissue. These are coded with 10004 to 10012 and 10021. Note that these codes are just fine needle aspiration biopsies. They don't say from which tissue it's taken. It's just fine needle aspiration. A core needle uses a hollow core needle to remove small samples of tissue in a cylindrical shape, in a um, cylinder. These are coded to the body area involved. So each body area will have different codes for um, core needle biopsies. An excisional biopsy uh, uses a percutaneous through the skin excision. This is also called a wide local incisional biopsy. And this is to remove an entire tumor with some of the margins. And this also is coded to the specific body area. An incisional biopsy uses a percutaneous incision to remove small, a small part of a large tumor. And this is coded to the body area. So FNA biopsies are selected code, code to the fact that they're um, FNAs, but also the type of guidance used. Other biopsies are selected in the body area, found in a specific body area. So here's an idea of um, what the needles used or the tools used for these biopsies are, look like. Note that the FNA needle is thinner and involves a syringe. The core needle biopsy uses a hollow needle that is a little bit bigger. And finally, the excisional and excisional biopsies use a surgical instrument, like a knife, surgical knife, not a needle. Many of the guidelines refer to modifier 59. So let's take a look at this modifier. Modifier 59 is entitled Distinct Procedural Service. You can see more about this in Appendix A of your CPT book. Modifier 59 is to indicate that the procedures are not bundled in a specific case. So what, that's fine, but what is bundling? Bundling is rolling together small services into a larger related service. Only the larger service is coded. This is referred to as the CPT Global Surgical Package. See the introduction to the surgery section of CPT for more information about the package. An example of procedures included in a global package might be an excision, removal of a tumor, closure of the wound, use of anesthesia, local anesthesia. Only use the code for removal of the tumor, not separate codes for each step involved in doing the uh, procedure. Sometimes services that seem related are in, this, in a specific case not related. This may be because they're performed on different sites or organ systems, performed during different surgical sessions, require separate incisions or excisions, or they're for treatment of separate injuries. So how are these used, how's modifier 59 used in fine needle aspiration biopsies? Well, it, 
Modifier 59 is used in these to indicate the procedures are performed on different lesions or use different modalities, meaning types of guidance. We'll talk about this more as we review the guidelines. So, in order to code correctly for fine needle aspiration biopsies, you ask these questions. Was guidance used? Was more than one lesion biopsies? If more than one lesion was biopsied, was the same type of guidance used for each? And finally, were the fine needle aspiration and core needle biopsies performed during the same sessions? And if so, were these on the same lesion or different lesions? So the first question what is, was guidance used? The codes list specific types of guidance. 10021, no guidance. 10005, ultrasound guidance. 10007, fluoroscopic guidance. 10009, CT guidance. 10011, MR guidance. These are referred to as primary code. Each of these have are paired with a, an add-on code. And the guidance in the um, uh, in the the guidelines, the guidance in the guidelines are called modalities, and that just means type of. So for the um, each one of those primary codes we saw before, um, there is an add-on code. So this answers the question: Was more than one lesion treated? during this surgical session. It always has to be same surgical session, same day. If there are additional lesions, you use an add-on code. And you had, these are paired with the ones we saw before. And you have, of course, the plus sign in front of them, which indicates they are add-ons. So we have 10004, no imaging guidance. 10006, ultrasound guidance. 10008, fluoroscopic guidance. 10010 CT guidance and 10012 MR guidance. The next question is, was the same type of guidance used for each lesion? So there's multiple lesions and was the same type of guidance used? In this case, the answer is yes. So in this case, you list the primary code for the modality the guidance, and it's related add-on code for each additional lesion. So here's an example. Fine needle aspiration, three lesions with ultrasound guidance. So you do the primary code 10005 for lesion number one, 1006 for lesion number two, and then 1006 again for lesion number three. And these all have the same type of guidance. So here's the practice. If you'd like to find the code on your own, pause the video. So this case is fine needle aspiration biopsy of one lesion in the right lung and one lesion in the abdominal wall during the same surgical session. Both biopsies use magnetic resonance guidance. So we're going to go back to those questions. Was guidance used? Was there more than one lesion? If there was more than one lesion, was it the same type of guidance for each? And then were FNA and core needle biopsy on the same session, which is not the case here. Okay, so let's answer the questions first. Was guidance used? Yes, it was MR guidance. Was more than one lesion biopsy? Yes, in the lung, and in the abdominal wall. If more than one lesion was biopsied using FNA, was the same type of guidance used for each? Yes. And then the FNA and core needle biopsy don't apply in this case. So we end up with 10011, a primary code for the FNA of the right lung, and an add-on code 10012, for the FNA of the abdominal wall. So you're going to use the primary code, which is 
this one, and then the add-on code, since both use the same type of guidance. Note that it doesn't matter that one was in the lung and one was in the abdominal wall. The fine needle aspiration biopsy codes are just for FNA. They're not um, by body area. In other cases, uh, separate lesions are biopsied and different types of guidance are used. So the guidelines for this is use the primary code for mod uh, modality number one and then another primary code for modality number two with the modifier 59. It doesn't matter at the guideline state if the lesions are ipsilateral or contralateral, same side, opposite side, or if they're from a different organ system, structure, whatever, doesn't matter. Since the codes themselves list the type of guidance, you're not going to list an additional code for the guidance from the radiology section, like beginning with 77,000. Each FN code, FNA code already includes the guidance, so it would be redundant. It wouldn't, get, wouldn't provide any more information to um, do that. Here's another practice. Fine needle aspiration biopsy of lesion in the right lung using MR guidance and FNA biopsy of a lesion in the abdominal wall using CT guidance. And again, we're going to go through the questions. This helps you focus on what you need to know in order to select a code. Was guidance used? Was more than one lesion? More than one lesion, same type of guidance? And was FNA and core needle biopsy um, done, which is not done in this case. We'll get to that later in the um, um, video. Okay, was guidance used? Yes. More than one lesion biopsy? Yes. I only have one in the lung and one in the abdominal wall. Was the same type of guidance used? No. The lung used MR and the abdominal wall used CT. And then this one, we don't talk about a core needle biopsy yet, so that one is not applicable. So we end up with 10011 for the fine needle action of the right lung, and then 10009-59, that 59 modifier for the FNA of the abdominal wall. Since each one uses a different modality, and the rule says Use primary codes for each with a modifier 59. Note that it doesn't matter that the lesions were in different body areas. One's in the lung, one's at the abdominal wall. Doesn't matter. So was the same type of guidance used for each lesion? No. Sometimes there are three or more lesions and two of them use the same modality. So some of the lesions had one modality, but there was another one. So what do you do? Sometimes there are three or more lesions and two of them use the same modality, but another one uses a different one. So you're gonna use a primary code for modality number one, then an add-on code for that modality, and then a primary code for modality two. So here's another practice. Fine needle aspiration biopsy of two lesions in the right lung using MR guidance and one lesion at the abdominal wall using CT guidance. And then again, we ask these questions. Was guidance used? Was there more than one lesion? Are they using the same type of guidance? Okay, let's move on. Was guidance used? Yes. Was more than one lesion biopsied? Yes, two in the lung and one in the abdominal wall. Same type of guidance. Well, in the lung, they used MR in the magnetic resonance. In the abdominal wall, they used CT. And this one is not rel relative in, in this one. Okay, another fine needle aspiration biopsy of two lesions in the right, one lesion in uh, the abdominal wall, 
different modalities. So we code 10011 for the first fine needle aspiration of the right lung, and then 10012 for the second FNA of the right lung, because they're using the same modality, they're using the MR. And then you have 10009-59 for the abdominal wall, since that used a different type of modality, different type of guidance. Okay, so then we move on for, from surgeries including FNAs only to what if they use an F, a fine needle aspiration biopsy or needle biopsy during the same session, same day. Well, coding depends on whether both biopsies were on the same lesion or different lesions and off, also on the modality used. So if it's the same session, same lesion, same guidance, you're going to use the primary code for the FNA with the type of guidance that's in the code, and then a code for core needle biopsy. You're not going to code separately for the guidance for the core needle biopsy. It's the same as the other one because this code includes the type of guidance. So you're not going to report it again. So here's a practice. Fine needle aspiration biopsy of the lesion in the right lung and core needle biopsy, same lesion, same session, both using CT guidance. And again, we're going to go through the questions. Let me pause for a minute in case you want to do it on your own. So was guidance used? Yes. Was there more than one lesion? No. If more than one lesion was the same guidance, that's not applicable in this case because um, it's same lesion, same session, same guidance. And was FNA and core needle biopsy in the same session, same modality, same lesion? So you have the FNA of the lesion using CT, that's 10009, it's a primary code. And then you have a core needle biopsy of the same lesion using CT, 32408. And note that a code under this states that guiding, a note under this states that um, guidance is included. But because they're both using the CT guidance, you wouldn't report the guidance separately because it's included in this code. So what if you have a fine needle biopsy, um, different lesions, same imaging? The last one we remember was um, same lesion, same guidance. So in this case, you've got different lesions. If both of the if you're doing different lesions and both procedures use the same imaging guidance, use the primary code for the fine needle aspiration biopsy with the type of guidance, and then a code for the needle, core needle biopsy with the modifier 59. That's what the guidelines state. If there are different lesions, on the other hand, um, use the primary code for the FNA with the type of guidance, Use a code for the core needle biopsy with the modifier 59. And in this case, you'll also code for the guidance with the modifier 59. So that's a little different. So it depends on whether it's the um, uh, same lesion or a different lesion. Here's the final practice. Fine needle aspiration biopsies of lesion in the right lung without guidance and core needle biopsy of the mass in the abdomen using CT guidance. So, and here are our questions again to kind of take us through the thought process involved. Was guidance used for the fine needle aspiration? No. Was more than one biop lesion biopsies, biopsy using FNA. So for the fine needle aspiration, it was only the right lung was a fine needle aspiration and core needle biopsy on the same lesion. These are different lesions. 
And this one is without guidance, and this one is with CT guidance, and that's what determines the code. So you have FNA of the right lung 10021, which is the code for no guidance. Then you have core needle biopsy of the abdomen, which is 49180 with that 59 modifier. But you also have a code for the guidance, 77012-59. And there's a note under 49180 saying, if imaging guidance is performed, C, and it lists uh, possible codes. So this is an FNA and a core needle biopsy, different lesions, different modalities. So these are, for a small number of codes, these are pretty confusing, and it is, it's very difficult to remember all the guidelines for coding. This is why it's so important to make notes in your book. For fine needle aspirations, I would write in the questions. Was guidance used for FNA? Was more than one lesion biopsy? If more than one lesion was biopsied, was the same type of guidance used? With FNA and core needle biopsy in the same session, and if so, was it the same or different lesions? In the index, I would write in next to the main term biopsy, see also fine needle aspiration biopsy, because that's not directly in there. If you look up biopsy, you might end up with the wrong one if you don't have that note. So here's a summary of these confusing guidelines. I have written these in my book on the page opposite the codes. So that's what you might want to do. It's all in those paragraphs that introduce this section, but it's confusing. So this is what I wrote in. FNA, different lesions, same modality. Do a primary code and its add-on code or codes, depending on how many lesions. FNA, different lesions, different modalities. Primary codes for each FNA with modifier 59 on the second code. FNA plus core biopsy, same lesions, same modality. Report both codes. Don't report imaging separately for the core biopsy. FNA plus core biopsy, different lesions, same modality. Report both with modifier 59 on the core biopsy code and on the code for um, guidance for the core biopsy. FNA plus core biopsy, different lesions, different modalities. Report both using modifier 59 on the core biopsy and on the imaging for the core biopsy. So that completes this lesson. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. If you'd like to um, look into my books, here's the books I have written, and here's the covers of the books. You can contact me here. I'd love to hear from you. Here are where my contacts for my books. Or you can just go into Amazon and type in Amazon Books and type in my last name, Tropin. Thank you so much for listening. I hope to have more lessons up soon. Thank you.